So behind us, Frank Berdugo is going to demonstrate the benefits of the tilt assist and what he has now. He has the, with the cat tilt rotator system, he's going to bench his heading. So we've got an integrated swing sensor that's also reading the position of the cap relative to the tracks. And he's going to be pulling the slope. And all he's going to do is just single lever dig. He's going to have the grade assist, the depth assist, and also the tilt assist active. And as he's rotating on this slope, it's going to be matching the grade. So a very, very great benefit. And one of these things that this is quite a difficult operation for certain operators, you know, uh, certain skill levels to be able to match. And this is all being done in kind of a semi-autonomous uh, movements by just a single lever. You can activate the depth or the tilt assist independently, so you don't have to use both. So for those experienced operators that, you know, they just want the tilt to match the grade, they can do the stick and boom manually. Um, you know, just the tilt is probably adding that additional layer of complexity to a certain workflow like this. They can just activate the tilt assist and the tilt will match the design surface uh, automatically. So a really neat feature, again, can be worked on a tilt bucket or a tilt rotator. So yeah, uh, one of these additional features uh, the CAT technologies can offer standard on our next gen excavators. So hi guys, I'm back here on the 323. Um, what we're going to look at now is the CAT grade control, but with assist, okay? And as we've got the TRS, we're also going to use the tilt assist function, but I want to make it a bit more interesting. So we've also got what's called the swing sensor which we're going to use as a heading sensor. So I want to do a 70% slope uphill towards the machine. So what I'm going to do first here, I'm going to activate my assist features. So I'm going to turn on grade assist on normal. And I'm also going to turn on tilt assist. Okay. So I've got tilt assist and grade assist on. Um, next thing I'm going to do now, um, basically I'm, I'm going to use the swing sensor as a heading sensor. So we're, I'm going to use my cutting edge of the bucket and basically I'm benching, so bench heading successful. So basically I'm telling it this is the line I want to do my slope at. And now I'm just going to bench. So I've told the machine I want zero depth and a 70% slope uphill towards the machine. Okay, so now all I've got to do is just pull the stick. And the tilt is adjusting for me auto automatically. And all I've got to do is when I get to the top, pick up the bucket and uh, drop it outside. Okay, so once again, reaching back down onto the grade, tilt is adjusting automatically. Again, I've got overcut prevention, so it doesn't allow me, once I'm on grade, it doesn't let me to overcut anymore, and all I've got to do is just pull the stick, and boom, is coming up automatically, stick is following the design, and tilt is adjusting to meet the slope. Very easy and uh, intuitive to use. So now you see I'm going to go to the other side of the slope basically and the tilt is adjusting the other way, okay? Okay, so now I'll just pick it up, bring it out. See, it tilt's adjusting automatically to meet the slope. And again, all I've got to do is just pull the stick and the machine does the rest for me. Again, I can also do it with the bucket flat. Um, we've got what's called heel protection, so it's going to keep adjusting the bucket angle also to never rub the heel against the slope, basically. Okay, you see? It maintains the bucket angle at all times also. 
before we actually contact with the heel. Again, not allowing me to overcar, making life easy for the operator. We've got the audible warning, which we can customize depending on the operator preference. We can change the sound volume, let's say. We can actually even turn off the audible warnings if the operator doesn't like it. So you see, whichever side I go to, tilt is adjusting automatically to meet the slope. How cool can that be? Once bucket's full, time for the operator to take over, pick it up and just drop it out. The good thing is I can do the full range, the full reach of the machine if I was to do a slope without moving, without having to do a temporary touch point or anything in between. So using the swing sensor is helping the operator. I can do the full reach of the machine on the slope without having to, to move. Cut and fill, so I'm, I'm cutting on the left side, filling in on the right, all from the same position and not having to really um, worry about the tilt or if I'm overcutting. 